Welcome to Inside Sim Racing, I'm Billy Strange, and in this edition of Test Drive, we are checking out the newly released Launcha ECV, that's Experimental Composite Vehicle, in SLRE. So thanks to Spatial Dragon for suggesting a go on the 1988 version of Pike's Peak, that is the all dirt version in the game. I am doing something a little different for this test drive. I'm going to be testing the effects of toe in versus toe out. So we are only going to run the short version of the 88 Pikes Peak. Now you're probably already asking yourself, Billy, why on earth are you testing this out on SLRE? Well, the simple answer is I was already checking out this monster four wheel drive prototype for our test drive series. And I made a couple changes with the toe in in the back and the front of the car and noticed quite a bit of difference. So I thought it would be interesting to actually put together something that shows what those differences make in a car. So this is what we're gonna do. I'll show you the best of five runs with the factory settings and then after that I'll change the toe settings and again show you my best out of five runs after I've made the changes and then you can compare those while it's going on. And I know you're not actually driving the vehicle, uh, but my, my hope is is that you'll be able to see on screen and understand hopefully the differences between the two. Uh, at the very least, uh, we can compare the times and that will show you. So based off what I'm telling you, what you're seeing and the times, maybe that'll help kind of give an understanding of what tow-in settings do on a car. Uh, as always, I will be running with a TX Base 599 EVO rim. For some reason, this is after the patch, the TH8A shifter uh, no longer works when plugged into the wheelbase. This is the PC version, by the way. So, I'm not totally sure what's going on there. I can't get it to work. I've tested it. It works fine. Uh, in every other situation, it just doesn't work there. So, but they have put in the 21 by 9 uh, support, and so for me that works well because I do have a 21 by 9 monitor. Um, and also, just to make note that the force feedback does not seem as sloppy. It seems they've taken out a lot of that play in the center of the wheel that I was having an issue with. So, force feedback actually feels fairly decent. Not that it's the best, but it seems close to competent. Um, so that you don't get this odd, just numb feeling in the center of the wheel. You'll see me race from the dash view. That's gonna be uh, because the hand rotation, you know, 90 degrees it seems okay, and then you get a little past that, you know, 45 degree angle one way or the other, and then the hands seem to speed up, and it's really disconcerting. So, beyond that, here goes the test, and... Hopefully you all enjoy it. Alright, so Three, here's my best two, run out of five. One, go. I instantly noticed that right off the bat the car definitely gets into the center of the turn and steers more. The back end feels like it's searching around, so the settings, the factory settings are the rear end is towed out and the front end is towed in. You can see the first checkpoint we are at a 17.48 uh, so anyway the front ends towed in the rear ends towed out which means the back end is going to turn a little easier and it's going to search more so I feel like I'm really having to counter steer a lot with this four-wheel drive car second checkpoint we're at a 41.86 it doesn't give me a lot of confidence in the car. I'm trying to do the best that I can. Swing out wide there, try to get it to turn in, but when it starts to actually turn in, it definitely starts to rotate quicker than I would like it to. I feel like I'm not much in control of how the car is making the turn. Once I get to a certain point, it kind of turns for me. Third checkpoint, a 109.65. And so I'm trying to understand and definitely having to be cautious with my throttle input. Pitched a little too much and then the back end took over. 
The back end keeps stepping out even though I don't want it to yet. I've got the car pointed in the direction that I want and I'm on the throttle with a four-wheel drive car. It should be pulling. Their checkpoint four is a 136.60. And so it should be pulling me around the corner, but that back end towed out seems to let the car still carry that slide just a, see, we're just carrying that slide just a little too much in my opinion. So for me, I feel like the car is nervous and unsettled. We come up to the end here through these slide S's. And across the line, we run a two flat dot nine one. So two minutes and 91 hundredths of a second. There's the end of that run. And now I will make some changes to the tow settings. I will show you those. And then I'll show you my best run out of the five with the changes that I've made. All right, so here we go. Here's the settings we're going to make uh, for changes. Front, positive means that the front tire, front of the edge of the tires are pointing inward if you're sitting in the car. Negative means they, the rear of the tires are pointing inward if you're sitting in the car. So there's 10 clicks available. They were on uh, six, so it had tow in. We've changed it to four, that's tow out. And in the rear, they had tow out in the rear of four. Well, now we're putting it to uh, seven, which means that the back end or the rear tires are pointed inward if you're sitting in the vehicle. That will help stability entering the corner and also exiting Three, the corner will give us two, more forward drive. One, I'm not going to worry about talking about slip angles and all that stuff. That's fairly far into the weeds. We're only going to talk about the effect of drive per se. So, if you have a rear-wheel drive car, you're going to point it inward. If you got one, uh, the opposite direction is pointing outward, makes the back end search. The front end, this is a four-wheel drive car, so the, the tires are still driving. With them pointed outward, that's going to help quicken the steering up going into the turn and help counteract some of that push that we've induced by towing the rear end. So, let's give that a shot as you're currently watching one of my practice runs right here. All right, and here Two, is our last one, run. I, this is my fifth run that I've done with this setup. And right off the bat, I can feel the car accelerate quicker. Uh, the front end is more positive in that I feel like it's more sensitive to my turn-in, which is something that I like. And I feel like I'm not counter-steering as much. This is a good section. Flat out through here. First sector, 22 hundredths of a second quicker. So not a big margin, but that's only just about 18 seconds into the run. I can actually turn the car early like a four-wheel drive car, stay in the throttle, and it'll pull itself around the turn. My slides feel a little more controlled. Sector 2, I'm 98 hundredths of a second quicker. Almost lose it there because I pitched it too hard. So almost a second faster by the time we get to the second sector. But like that, it feels more controlled in a slide. I can catch the car a little better. Third sector. Now we're about a second and a half faster than factory settings. This is a nice sharp turn, and I pitch the car too hard. Make a little bit of a mistake. Probably cost us around a half, a half second. Maybe not quite a whole second, but that was my fault. Got to the corner faster than I was anticipating. So now we're into the fourth sector, and we're still just over a second and a half faster. So I made that huge mistake and still maintained with the factory sitting car. Once again, car slides very nice. It's a very gradual slide through the turn. Coming up through these lazy S's to the end of the run. And it's a 157.82 versus a 2 flat 91. So we're just over three seconds quicker in this setting. So there you have it. Kind of gives you a... I know you can't feel the changes, but hopefully you could kind of see the changes by what I was telling you and what you were seeing on the screen. Some people may prefer the factory settings over what I changed to. I just find that the car reacts 
more like I like it. You know, changing those towing settings in the rear. So again, we went from a tow-out situation in the rear to a tow-in. And then vice versa in the front, we went from a tow-in situation in the front to a tow-out in the front. So once again, that gives us a little more forward bite, a little more stability going to the turn. But with towing out the front, that actually quickens up the rate of our turn in and helps initiate that turn, gives a little more positive feel to the front end and stabilizes uh, under straight line speed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hit that like button if this was helpful. Hopefully it was. And yeah, if you got any other suggestions for me for the test drive series, please leave them in the comments below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.